This is the Iowa Weather Report for Friday, February 27th, 2015. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run at noon today. Trough over the middle part of the country, and that means it's still cold. In fact, bitterly cold. With the fresh snow we had a day or so ago, it's still going to remain rather chilly. Lows last night well below zero. Highs today in the single digits and teens. Sunshine around, so it's going to be a wonderful day. It's just going to be horribly cold. And tonight, temperatures drop back below zero, especially in the eastern half to two-thirds of the state. And then we start to rebound a bit on Saturday. Highs in the mid to upper teens to lower to middle 20s. Warmest over the western counties, coolest over the eastern counties. Clouds will be on the increase. Snow could break out by late in the day, especially by evening in our southwestern counties. And then sweep across the state here on Sunday. Best Shot of seeing any accumulating snow south of a Hamburg to Des Moines to about Clinton line. A couple inches possible. Well, better determine that as we move closer by later today or so. Then we move into Monday, beginning of the new work week. One storm is to our east. The next storm is off to our south and west. So most of Monday will be dry. Late Monday, we could see some precipitation move in. And then Tuesday, it could be a, a conglomeration. We could see rain, sleet freezing rain or snow. It's all going to depend on where you are. It's all going to depend on where the rain snow line is. Too early to determine that at this point, but it is a storm we have to watch. And then, as is typical, what's been happening the last about three, four weeks, storm moves through. Here comes more cold air again. So Wednesday, we'll see chilly temperatures with fairly breezy conditions. Thursday will be rather chilly as we move for the middle and end of next week, so I mean it, it's it's like a broken record here with with these cold blasts coming in from the north and west. When we look ahead to next Friday, though, you see the pattern is beginning to change. We've been talking about this for like a week or so or more that it's going to change. The temperatures are going to finally warm up. The cold weather is going to end. Well, maybe we're finally starting to see that light now. Temperatures look to rebound here by next Friday. We could see readings in the 30s for the entire state. However, there's going to be a lot of snow on the ground, so that could temper the readings back down. We'll have to wait and see. We move ahead further into the into the month of March, here around the 10th or so, flow is out of the northwest again. What does that mean? Well, we've been seeing that all month long in February. It means colder air is coming back, but it's going to be quicker shots. These, It looks to be that these shots of cold air only last a day, and immediately the temperatures will rebound back up to or above freezing. So we can only hope that these cold shots are just going to get shorter and fewer and far between. Get to the end of the period on the 14th, and you see pretty much a flow, a weak flow out of the west. We have the jet way up to the north and a jet way to the south. Storm system off to our west could bring some precipitation out there, could bring a little rain or snow around here. But the, as we look to the middle of the month, the weather pattern could get a little more active, but we could be seeing more rain and snow than just plain snow and bitter cold temperatures. Satellite image from last evening, we had the front, a frontal system moving off the coast. We had another system moving through Texas, the Texas Panhandle in New Mexico, bringing some snow there. That'll sweep across the Texoma region, Oklahoma and Texas, later today. Around here, it's just quiet, cold, and calm. Watch morning map from last evening. Some winter weather advisories across the Carolinas. This is mainly for possible black ice on roads. Winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings down across Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico. That's what that storm we mentioned on the satellite image. Wind chill advisories across the north. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days. This goes through Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock showing decent amounts of precipitation around here, but this is with two systems, the one on Saturday, Sunday, and the one again on Tuesday. 